What is going on guys, my name is Chaotic and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be explaining a very useful tip which could potentially save you hundreds of thousands of dollars when upgrading the new Sultan RS that was added to Grand Theft Auto Online just a few days ago. So let's go ahead and get straight into things. So as I'm sure you guys know by now, a few days ago, we received a surprise update in Grand Theft Auto Online on the Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and the PC, adding two new variants of the Sultan RS and the Bravado Banshee. Both are now customizable at Benny's Original Motorworks and there are a huge list of modifications available for both vehicles. But as for the Karen Sultan, you can either buy the vehicle from the Benny's Original Motorworks website for $12,000 or you can get it for free by finding one around the map being driven by an NPC. Finding one is very, very easy, but I would recommend buying it from Benny's Original Motorworks and just spending the $12,000 and I will explain why you should do this. Basically, you can save yourself a lot of money in the long run in excess of three dollars or $400,000 if you fully upgrade the vehicle. Now, as you guys can see in the video right now, I have gone ahead and found a Karen Sultan for free around the map. I've taken it into Benny's original motor works, and I'm now going to go ahead and fully upgrade the vehicle, spending around $1.5 million or so to do so. And as you can see, once I have finished upgrading the vehicle and I go to the sell option, the vehicle itself is only worth $306,000. Now you might be able to increase that value slightly with a few different upgrades, but that's roughly what it's going to be worth. Now as you guys can see when I bring down my other Karen Sultan RS, this is one that I bought the other day from Benny's Original Motorworks and spent $12,000 on doing so. When I go ahead and try to sell this vehicle, it is worth almost $700,000 and it doesn't have anywhere near as many upgrades. So this car is already well over double the selling value of the other one and doesn't have anywhere near as many upgrades. But if I was to go ahead and apply those, this car would be worth well over $750,000. And the only real difference is buying the car for $12,000 as opposed to finding it for free around the map. So the price difference in the selling values is staggering. The thing you'd lose yourself in excess of three or $400,000 by simply trying to save yourself $12,000 on buying the vehicle. So if you're yet to buy and customize a Sultan RS, then I would definitely recommend buying it, not finding it for free around the map because in the long run, you will save yourself a lot of money. Now at the moment, I'm sure you guys aren't thinking about selling your new Karen Sultan RS, but think about in a few weeks time or maybe a few months time when you get fed up of this vehicle and maybe you want a new one which comes in a future DLC and you want to go ahead and sell this so you have funds to put towards that vehicle. You'll have yourself an additional three or $400,000 if you simply buy this vehicle then customize it rather than find it for free and then customize it. So this is definitely a very useful tip to bear in mind. But I want to get your thoughts and feelings on this. What do you guys think about this price difference? Let me know your thoughts and feelings by leaving a comment on this video. It would also be greatly appreciated if you guys could take a few seconds out of it to click the like button as it helps me out a lot. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, really recommend that you do because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So once again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.